Okay, guys, this is it. This is our desperate, desperate plan to rescue baby panda at at. I am so nervous about this. I have no idea if we're going to be able to pull this off, but we have the baby panda in a box on its way to quarantine and hopefully putting it in quarantine will be able to save it. I am not sure. Also, why? Why? Why is this water treatment plant just eternally broken? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and remove that water treatment plant yet again. It is so annoying how that thing is always, always, always broken. Uh, and we're actually going to put down, let's see, I have a few really good power generators and water things that are together. I'm trying to remember what they're called. Um, I think they're called energy. Like it's called the energy, no, okay. Well, you know what? I know I have it hearted. So we're just gonna put that sucker down. Modern reptile house, indoor terrarium, garden of wandering stones. Oh, I would love to add that in. Uh, insect house, jungle walkway. Let's see, wolf den, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Look, I need some power and I need some water for this place, stat. I don't have time to dilly dally. I have a like starving, ooh, this is actually a guard tower. <gasps> This would be so cool to use as decoration. Holy cow. Okay, we're going to be decorating with that. But right now we're saving a baby panda, okay? I need to focus on that. And for some reason, to make sure that that happens, I need to have the eternally broken, which is very frustrating, uh, the eternally broken thing replaced with, what is this? New World Building. Oh, hey, that's actually really cool looking. Uh, not nature's staff room. I don't need another staff room there. Nature themed facilities. What is this one? Oh, hey, this is awesome. That'll be great for the wolf area once we like get back into the wolf area. But I just need, I have like these really cool protective areas. And as soon as I find this thing, what it does is it hides some of the research that you need to do or some of the utilities that you need to use. Ah, how do I, oh, hey, pagoda shelter, nice. Ooh, and look at that pagoda. Okay, I need to start like harding some of these things because these are actually really cool and I would love to start using more of them more often. All right, that's a planted shelf. That's a pre-planted shelf. The reptile house, the safari information. All right, as soon as I find this this thing, you guys will understand why I'm so excited to use it. I just can never remember what it's called. And it's so frustrating. Not the staff rooms, not the staff world, not the starter safari toilet. We need to put down some of these really awesome turtle sculptures and they're for Terry the turtle, but we're actually going to say that they happen to be for our Galapagos tortoises. Here we go, transformer and water treatment plant. There, that'll do. That'll do. And we'll put these down in a way where they're just really nice. Maybe finally somebody will properly start taking care of these. In fact, come on. All right. Are you guys floating? You're floating. All right. Where the heck did it go? Transformer and water treatment plant. Let's just get this down really quickly. It doesn't need to go in too many places. There we go. There we go. Is that good? Terrain modification failed. Okay, let's try going up a little bit. There, all right. Let's get path down in here for all of this nonsense so that my keepers can come and like work on this, please. We are so overdue on all of this and I don't think we need this many transformers <laughs> now that they're finally not breaking all the time. This kind of inefficiency is how we have actually caused so many problems for all of our animals. And I, I just, I can't tolerate this kind of inefficiency anymore. So hopefully having these transformers will work. I wonder if they mention power working facility. Okay. I'm going to remove both of those and see if that helps. We should still, yeah, we still cover a whole bunch of power. We should be fine. That should be fine. That looks a lot nicer. We can start even removing some of these barrier pieces. And let's figure out what we're going to do about baby panda at. Ha <gasps> ha is expecting offspring. Well, that's great, except for the fact that apparently we can't feed our baby pandas, which is unacceptable. So we're going to do a few things to try to fix that, guys. We're going to go ahead and we are going to make another arboreal feeder. I want to be able to physically see the food. 
I want the food to be like in front of my nose. I want to be able to be like, yes, my pandas are going to be able to be fed. Huzzah. So we are going to actually make a new arboreal feeder that just for fun is going to actually come over and oh did they drop a bunch of food over here they did now i need at at back okay come on at at i think we can go ahead and we can actually move at, at oh my gosh we have oh my gosh i need to do some work he's in quarantine right now um so i need to find him by name there's al al here's at at come on little guy you're in quarantine but i think we should have you be okay now if we move you back in if those other pandas will just not eat all of the food uh hopefully they won't eat all of the food this time my heart broke when they just like chowed down without him last time that was too much to deal with all right but i want to physically see this food i want it to be in front of my face i want to know like hey that's how a -A is going to get his food. We're going to make a cute little feeding spot right over here. You see? And then you can, they'll climb up it like so. There we go. Hopefully. <laughs> That's the plan at least. And then once they're up there, they can look at their food. And if this doesn't work, we'll like replace it. But all right, let's see. That's up and down. There we go. And I need it to be a little bit more, yeah, like that. There. And then we'll go ahead and scoot it over this way. Excellent. Grab another one. Stick it right over on this side. I am determined to be able to see where these things are now. We're going to put in some climbable logs. And we're going to build a little, like this little station. Here, I'm going to scooch this over again. Come on, you. There. And hopefully being able to see that, like, everything is okay. Here's, oh, these, oh, that's a really cool African branch. Okay, I don't want to buy that branch. But I think I'm going to use the African branch as our construction piece to actually <laughs> build up around the little thing that we're creating. Uh, well, actually, I'll just use the normal climbable thing. Oh, look at that air plant. Oh. <gasps> We've got so many new things. I haven't even had a chance to be able to like sort through and play with yet. Oh, this is going to be so, oh my gosh, this is going to be so fun. Little hammock that we could use for decoration. Is that an, oh, it's an elephant sculpture. That is so cool. And there's a whole bunch of pots and baskets that we could add over to the shrines that we have for the pandas. Oh, that would be delightful. Uh, all right, maybe we can go to habitat and I'll use the climbable logs instead habitat there we go and then climb there these make for just such delightful decorative pieces that you can just stick in anywhere okay we're gonna do that and then let's grab this one and we will put it right here and we'll grab the other one Three is fine, actually. I, I really like that. So there we go. Now we have another food spot, and I'm actually going to remove a couple of the feeders. So I want to keep the pandas kind of up front. In fact, I'm thinking what we might do is we might split this exhibit in half and then have two entrances where our keepers can feed like half of the group on one side, half of the group on the other. They can still see each other, the guest can still see them, but that might make it a little bit easier to maybe start managing the flamingo population and for the pandas to be able to reach the food. And the keepers, apparently, I think, the keepers can only go in one at a time to refill food, which is really not good. <laughs> so I worry about that, but like there's a lot of food out now but we need some of it, for sure, on the ground where at, at can, like, get to. And let's come over. The other thing I want to do is I want to make sure that our keepers are well-trained and that our keepers are getting enough rest. So all of those things combined, I think, might finally make things start happening. So Keeper Gummy Bear here, he's the only one who has been doing, like, a great job of taking care of our animals. So, and he's really tired. His only job is to feed them. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start training him so that he can become higher, like better trained and become more capable at his job. If he has higher training, he will do more work. Oh, geez. Now they're going to bring at, at back and I don't have any, any room for at, at. Um, 
Oh gosh, and the pandas have low welfare from the temperature? Oh, you guys, that's because you were over in a corner that, like, wasn't helping. And there's so many flamingos now that we actually don't have enough hard shelter for everyone. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh no! At at! How will I take care of at at? No! The server's down! The saga of at at continues! You guys, we're back! The franchise servers came back online and now we can see what is going to happen to the saga of baby at at. I cannot believe this. His traumatic saga of his life has gotten so extreme that not only are we worried about at at starving to death, not only are we realizing that our keepers are so busy feeding literally dozens of flamingos that they can hardly feed our pandas, but we also even have the franchise servers crashing on us right now. Like what's happening? My poor little pandas. But okay. At is currently in a box. It says that he is a dangerous animal that has escaped. He might have been trying to make a break for it out the back. That's totally not what's happening. And there is finally a keeper, Jelly Bean, of course, in here mixing up some fresh food for hopefully the pandas. I am so nervous about all of this. I have no idea how this is going to end. Maybe I should have just like left him in here. I'm not sure, hopefully. Like, come on, at at. And we also have little Carlos apparently starving. He's trying to eat out of here. Come on, little buddy. Give it a chomp. You can do it. Yay! Carlos is being taken care of. Okay, so Carlos is eating from his spot. He just was small and it took him forever to do it. And then up here, Emerald is hungry. Do you not have any food in here either? Nobody has any food. Oh, this is just an absolute travesty. Okay, okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna enter this group mode to edit. Now that I think about it, I don't know if I've ever seen them put food on this. So maybe if I like come out here, no, no, I don't want to. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No. <laughs> okay, let's enter this group mode. Let's edit in here. I don't know if they've ever put any food in that. There's some food in the forge box enrichment. We're going to... That's it. We're going to do retraining for all of our staff. I am going to redo everything. This is absolute nonsense that our animals are, like, starving left and right. We're going to be training people up, my friends. We're going to be giving them the education of a lifetime. Uh, let's make sure we're getting something that the mandrels can eat out of. Mandrel, there. There we go. So they need to eat out of, like, these platforms. So I'm going to put one right there. Uh, that better not have put it into the group. Ah, I didn't want it in the group. I didn't want it in the group. I just wanted it on its own. Just on its own. Right there. So that everybody can watch and we'll call a keeper to come and feed them. And then... Little Carlos, the giant tortoise, is eating. We have so many flamingo butts everywhere. Too many flamingos. Come on, at at. All right, you're being put right back down in, at at. Hang in there, hang in there. Jelly Bean's literally coming with the food now, buddy. <gasps> his nutrition is full! But did putting him in quarantine save his life? I am so relieved! <laughs> oh, at at! Oh, little baby boy! I thought we lost you! And Haha -ha is also a little bit stressed out right now from the temperature. Okay, Haha, -ha, you I I hear you loud and clear. Um, but that's also where the flamingos like to hang out. So, oh my gosh, we have too many flamingos! I turned my back for one minute. Where did little at, at go? I, okay, that's it. Now I know if I really reach critical with an animal and my keepers are being ridiculous, I can go ahead and put them in quarantine for a second and then the vet like attends to all of their needs and I could just cry right now, you guys. I could just cry. I'm so relieved. I really thought we were going to lose them. Look at him. He's like following the keeper with the bucket. Oh my gosh. Jelly bean. Or excuse me, gummy, gummy bear. All right, and the little guy is full. Yeah, gummy bear has some training that he is going to be going through. He's really tired too, and he's like the only keeper who's actually doing anything for this habitat. So we need to make sure he gets enough rest. Let's make sure. Okay, why are you in a box? Who knows why Emerald is in a box? Who knows? Wait, there you go, guys. You're out of your box. 
So you should be able to feed yourself. Uh, the centipedes are having a hard time. Are they not being... <gasps> Do I not have a keeper set for the centipedes? Oh, my good gravy. Okay. This has been... It's been an eventful time, friends. But we're going to make this work. We're going to start training our staff. We're going to start making sure that they have the, the staff rooms that they need. I am going to start taking this so much more seriously. It's going to happen. Also, Keeper Spinks is the only one who concerns me because he literally hasn't done anything. He has been on duty 1% of the time. So I think I'm going to go ahead and let him clean, like tend and clean the habitats as well. Because otherwise, dude, you're just not doing anything. Gummy Bear can be the one who can, like, take care of some of the other stuff. Oh. Okay. Let's make sure we have a keeper for the centipedes. And then I think crisis, major, major crisis, will finally have been averted. And village keeper Juliana, instead of continuing to hire so many new keepers... Um, the staff room is so far away, I get worn out by the time I get back there. <gasps> I will solve that problem for you, my friend. I will, I will put a staff room somewhere in the village. In fact, we need to have... Why is she not using this staff room? Going to Keeper Hut. Because you're in Bug Village, right? She is indeed part of Bug Village. So, where's Bug Village? There we go. Oh, so she just goes to the first keeper hut she can find because she needs to. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to fix that by putting in a new keeper station over here. We also need to tend to our tortoises, which are popping up lots of baby tortoises lately, which is adorable. Um, we have this thing for the food and the water. We have a bunch of protesters who are now leaving the zoo. Thank goodness. Uh, all right. Let's get in new staff area. Something nice. Large Indian staff room. Here's a nature staff room. That might look nice over here. But this is kind of like close to like the Asian section we've been doing. I've been thinking we can move the tortoises like over here to start a more tropical section and carry on with the, the Asian theme over to this corner. Um, so I guess it would be okay to put down some sort of staff room that reflects that. A staff building with plants. Oh, that's so cool. That looks so nice. And it looks like this has research mechanic and a keeper food spot. And I wonder if I can sneak in under that little gazebo section, a new staff area for them to just relax. Then there's these staff rooms. Let me get a good look at these. Oh, these are really nice. Holy cow. <laughs> Like, that is fancy! I'm gonna put it down just temporarily for a second so we can see what's in here. Alright, we've got medical. We have the repair. We've got a, a small keeper station. We have got research. It's just like a cool staff building. Look at this! How did somebody build this thing? What? And then a large station for them to relax in. It even has bean bags. Yeah, I think I want to go ahead. That's a really cool staff building. Is, was this it? Just staff building with plants? No, it was this one. All right. And finally, somebody put their name in the description so I would know who it was. But let's come and put this down. We're going to remove these. Oh, geez. Apparently, I had a whole bunch of people resting in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> this one's going to be better. This one's going to be better, I promise, guys. And it comes with power and water inside of it, which would be amazing, too. Uh, and we are going to, like, put this thing down. It's very expensive, though. It is actually very expensive. Oh, but we do have the money. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and undo that just for now. When we have a little bit extra money from, like, selling some more centipedes or something, then we will use that. But for now, we're just going to put down a blueprint that will just have, like, a normal Asian large building. There we go. Yeah, this is probably better for now. <laughs> so that the staff will, like, have their own little staff path back here. And hopefully, guests will be more understanding about the facilities. So we'll go ahead and put this right here. There. Because we do need to allow people to have more places to rest. 
Because apparently, even if I don't assign them like a staff building, they will go and utilize the nearest staff building. Okay, let's connect this up. There we go. There, much better. Okay, there we go. People will be able to rest here. We just need to assign it to a work zone. So, work zone. And I think we need to hire another keeper for the village if we're having starving centipedes, if that is indeed the case. Uh, now we need, okay, bug village. She can come and rest over in uh, this part right over here. She does not need to use this keeper station though. And then let's also edit up. Do I have anything? Tortoise Contemplation Island. These spots. There we go. That will hopefully be enough there. All right. So hopefully that will help. <laughs> and Aa is no longer starving. I'm so relieved. I really, really, really was so worried about that. And I think we might need to shrink down the freaking number of how many flamingos we have for sure so that we can try to have our keepers be able to feed some other animals and we need a new keeper rest area so i think that that is too small and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put down there's like this pagoda i i have like a pagoda that's like a staff pagoda somewhere not the panda pagoda uh it's this, the Asian staff building. Like that and... Oh, I've been so agitated about... <gasps> Papaya has passed on! Oh, friends! Oh, what a challenging and busy, busy time it has been for us of yet. Papaya, the Chinese pangolin, has passed on of old age at 13. We shall name... Papaya. Papaya. There we go. We shall name this child next to her who I think she like may have may or may not have literally just given birth to. No, she uh Jungfeng gave birth to that pangolin. All right. That's okay. We will sort out the pangolin soon too. But before we end today, I am going to take the lesson in taking care of our staff to freaking heart. So let's find the large like staff area I was thinking about. Um northwestern staff area. It's the one, yeah, this, you know, I, I kind of really like this staff building. Hmm. But I think it only has a small staff spot and I want a big staff lounge. Yes, we're gonna put down a second staff lounge over here too. And we're actually gonna put it in the shade of this little mountain because we're going to start to make it pull everybody over to like this section and up here so that guests can walk over here. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in. I'm gonna raise up the terrain a little bit first. Oh, you guys, at, at is gonna live. I really thought that was gonna be the end of at, at and I was falling to pieces. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I I and then the server kept going down, and I just couldn't believe it. I was so terrified about the fate of the little guy. And that actually reminds me, I promised myself, I made a solemn promise that you guys didn't see because you weren't here while I was panicking, that if at, at survived, I would absolutely make him a small temple. And that temple will be dedicated to having enough food for everyone. It will be a little temple of dedication. And the idea is that he will, he will proclaim in the wisdom of at, at that there should be enough food for everyone, including the guest who we will finally start getting food for. So we're actually going to make a new mountain next time and we're going to call it the Temple of at, at in recognition of the fact that he survived, that he is still alive, that he survived. We're going to get rid of that staff building and we're going to start moving everybody. Wee! <laughs> Okay, we need that, we need this, we need this in the Asian work zone. Let's go ahead and work zone. I need edit work zone for Panda Mountain. We're getting this in here. All right, all right. We're gonna go ahead and edit work zone for Panda Zone. That in here, like all of this. I'm taking it super seriously right now. All right, that should do it. Phew, okay. Hopefully that will work and this will hopefully be really nice just to have 
a fun staff area. Put that down there. I want another beautiful cherry blossom. Who died? Oh, papaya. I know, I know. She did pass of old age. Whew. All right. Oh, and I need another bug keeper. So let's get another bug keeper in here. Uh, or I was going to train our current bug keeper. That's what I was going to do. Instead of continuing to hire 18 million people who have to use the different staff lounges, um, village keeper Juliana, now that she can be closer, she should be okay. So we're going to start training her up and she should be able to relax and take care of bug village. It's not a super high intensity job after all. Phew. Okay. <laughs> Survival! And the beginning of what will hopefully be a newly trained staff. And next time, we're actually going to talk about these really cool staff perks that I discovered that we can actually start giving to our staff. So huzzah! Survival! I'm so relieved. There's still so much to take care of. If you guys could do... Oh, wow, I put bamboo inside of the staff lounge. That sounds like something I would do, all right? If you guys could, do please leave a like for the fact that our adorable, wonderful at, at is still alive, and we should definitely celebrate that. If you would like to join me in this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye! <sighs>